I was excited to skate today as the rink was hijacked by quote unquote indoor soccer players for the weekend. I find it amazing that skaters get put out by soccer players when there's an abundance of outdoor soccer fields and there's also an indoor basketball court that could easily double as an indoor soccer arena. But that seems to be life on earth these days where skate rinks are turned into indoor soccer fields and dog parks for dog owners who want to train their dogs. We all just identify reality as anything we please. Hip hip hooray! Anyways, it appears my kickflip has come back to me. I'm still also trying to incorporate a Nolly heel flip into my routine, but it's easier said than done as they're coming back to me slowly. In my defense, I will say it's super hard popping anything Nolly off a C5 truck. When we're young, we sort of want everything in a hurry. We have yet lots of misconceptions about the reality in which we exist. We don't yet understand our bodies, we don't understand energy, and we simply don't understand time. We want to grow up fast, and yet before we know it, we're grown up and half our life is over. The digital age, however, is pretty curious because it allows us to keep track of our progress instantly, something we didn't really have previously. We wanted progress to happen in a hurry, and since we didn't have any sort of digital evidence of our progress, we thought it was happening slower than it actually was. And the same is true with our lives. We thought they were happening slower than they were. The irony of all that is, as we age and understand time better, and also have less of it, we can all better accept the progress that we are making and understand it relative to time. Sadly, however, when you're aware that you have less time, you also find waiting on progress to be quite daunting mentally. And I suppose that's why some people as they age just give up altogether because the idea of progress just seems too daunting to take on. The expression goes, Rome was not built in a day and thus if we can come to accept baby steps as giant achievements we can continue to make forward progress despite our fears of time. Because truly, without little daily feats of progress, we've got nothing. When I started to work out in the gym in the 10th grade, I would see older guys in their 40s who were super ripped, and I was trying to figure out how they got so ripped. I would work out more and more and harder and harder until I broke myself. And yet I know now that their secret was continuous small victories over a long period of time.
sad truth is, is as a young man, I gave up on so many things because I couldn't see the small victories for what they were, and I had set my own expectations of myself far too high. Tomorrow